Hi, good morning, beautiful people. How are you today? Do you feel fine? What a project we are going to start right now. The unboxing for the Nissan GTR with the trans kit from Hobby Design. This kit is going to be crazy and wonderful and very, very unique. I hope that uh, you will like it. I hope that uh, you will learn something new today. Uh, it's just the unboxing today, as I promise you, each Friday a new video and now it's good time to start. Uh, people, uh, I hear some people uh, ask why you not make the Lamborghini Euros on the channel. I think uh, the people on the club deserve more because they give me a lot of attention and ask me a, a lot of questions and I really love people that uh, want to invest in uh, this hobby. This is why I decided to build for them this club. So if you don't want to see it, you just need to click and go join to the club and you will see the Lamborghini Euros for one month, two months, it's up to you and what you want to do with your money. But I decide and this is my channel and I can do what I want. You just enjoy and learn, okay? So let's start, no need to talk too much. We will do the unboxing. I will reveal all the parts and all the uh, new parts from Obi Design. We will invest it, we will talk about it. And uh, I hope that you enjoy, guys. Uh, Rosso Model Channel, the new lab, yes, yes. So let's start now. Have a good day, let's continue. Yes, guys, hello and good morning for all the people that joined to the unboxing today. Uh, today we will reveal what we have inside. I know that many of you love this car just like me, the Nissan GTR. I think it's a wonderful car and I have the additional parts. We will explore it, don't worry. But first of all, let's start with the, what we get from Tamiya. Uh, let's make the unboxing very fast. Not fast, but it was nice. Yes. So this is how the kit comes from the uh, factory, from uh, Tamiya. We will not use all the parts here, but let's first start with the body. Let's put it over there. Let's see what we have inside. One thing that I don't love in this model, this is the engine mold in. Okay, in a Oshima kit, the engine come along, you can paint and uh, do what you want but here it's mold in but it's open and we try to do our best to make it look nice and real uh, the body look very nice perfectly uh, what we need to do is cut this uh, uh, bumper over there we will cut it and we will put the OB design one I will show you how to make it in the preparation of the body this is what we will do but more or less the body look fantastic and very nice and real uh, as you can see also yes what we have here is the front bumper and uh, we will again not use it but I will show you what you get in the kit yes plastic bag okay this is the front bumper uh, we will not use it, but if you want to build the old version of uh, the Nissan uh, GTR, you can send it cut and uh, glue it over there. I think it's perfect. We have a few mold line over there. We will uh, focus on them. I will show you my tricks, how to remove it, and uh, it will be awesome. Okay, let's continue, guys. Let's continue. So let's see what we have here. Wow, 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 wow. So much parts. Let's start with the gray parts and after that we will move to the black part. Okay, as you can see here, we have the hood, the low, the lower area of the body, the chassis with the exhaust mold in over there. We have the spoiler, the mirror, and uh, some part of the spoiler also over there we will try to do our best to make it look very nice like the real car uh, in the end I will show you also the real car she looks fantastic let's see what we have here more 
Yes, 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 yes. Okay. What I love in Tamiyaki, they all the time give you uh, the opportunity to choose left, uh, left hand uh, wheel, right hand wheel, the seats over there. You can uh, paint it and mold it in. The panel doors over there, as you can see, very nice and molded in. The uh, cabin over there with the seats, the steering wheel the sun protector for the uh, dashboard over there you can glue it over there and it's very nice this is a clear pass in red for the tail light it's come like that very nice and clean and cool yes I know that you are uh, waiting for the hobby design but First, let's see all the parts over there from a uh, Tamiya for the cover for the wheels, the suspension, the springs, the disc brakes over there. We have it here, and it's very nice. Also, the holder for the wheels, the suspension, springs. This is the radiator. You can glue it and enjoy. <laughs> Very nice and uh, it looks fantastic. This is the handle for the uh, for the shifter. Yes. Also over there, as you can see, they give us uh, two options for right and left. It's up to you. You have a wipers over there for right to left. The mirror over there. The handbrakes. The shifter, smaller one and uh, the air vent for the brake system okay it's come here okay you just need to glue it paint it in black and let's continue here we have a sprue of uh, chrome parts i think the tamiya make wonderful the uh, chrome parts this is the chrome parts the exhaust the uh, engine cover with the airbox, the exhaust pipe this is the wheel that we will not use and I will show you a wonderful thing about the wheels this is the exhaust exhaust pipe, the tip this is part of the uh, tail light it's supposed to sit over there and it's create the demonstration of the uh, chrome uh, for the, this is uh, also the logo over there on the side of the car I think it's going to be super awesome. Okay, here we have the clear parts. When you remove the clear parts, one thing that you need to do is get rid of them, the clip. Okay, the clip, when you remove it, remove all the clip, because when you remove it, you can stretch the clear parts. Okay, look how much nice and beautiful the clear parts. I will uh, keep the bag and put it back we have the tail lights headlights the all the windshield over there it's one the windshield and i will do it okay i keep it over there inside and protect it until i need to use it okay let's see what we have here more this is i need a knife so we will open it and see what we get inside Okay, here we have some uh, metal uh, metal uh, road that uh, we're supposed to put and uh, all the, the hood. So this is the holder for the hood. I will leave it here. Poly cap, of course. I'll see. One metal rod for the wheel. I think for the, the back of the wheel you need to use a metal road and also the wheels the tire sorry yes the tire look fantastic it's a rubber i think they have a two back uh, yes wider and uh, narrow as you can see two wider and two narrow okay 
It's very nice. Look the texture on it. Just look like a real. It's a rubber and very nice and cool. Oh, oh awesome! Yes. Here we have all the stickers and uh, masking sheet for the uh, for the windshield. You can use it, put it. I will show you my tricks how I make it right and put it in the fixed way. Also over there we have uh, decals from uh, Tamiya. This is the kit of Tamiya. It's a very uh, nice. Also over there we have a Nissan GTR metal sticker, mirrors, the logo. And we have uh, some kind of mesh to put on the grill side things over there like that. And it's create wonderful things and look very real and nice. It's not a plastic. Here we have tip, take and tip from uh, Tamiya for the beginner, how to cut, how to sand, which tool do you need for the beginning, which kind of color, the paint, scissors, okay, and how to use it. It's in uh, Chinese and also in, uh, I think it's Chinese or Japanese and also in English. How to remove, how to sand. If you are beginner, it will help you to make it right. But I can help you more than the, uh, this uh, sheet. Okay, here we have all the, uh, they say here that uh, they have options of uh, photo edge parts that you can buy from Tamiya and it's uh, give a lot to attention to the uh, model. Here you can uh, use the body colors by Tamiya TS, it's a spray can. Uh, usually I don't use it, white parallel, red and black and things like that and here all the paint that you need the list of the paint but it's up to you and how you want to make it here we have the steps as you can see step one step two step three all the building guys all the building is here step four the disc brakes, the suspension, how to connect everything. We will do it step by step, don't worry. Here we have, as you remember, that we talk about left and right steering wheel. Okay, so you can choose what to do. This is how to assemble the cabin, the seats, and also the body, where to paint, all the engine area, what we need to put in uh, black. X1 is a gloss black. This uh, this area we need to be in gloss black. And X9 it's I think metal, gun metal, and uh, also how to connect everything over there. And if you flip it, you will continue to work on the body, on the windshield, on the tires until you complete the mission. In step 20, you just need to put the hood and also the metal rod that we will talk about and create the wood will open, okay? And here you have the, where you need to put the decals. All the decals that you want, you can uh, choose what to do, what you want. It's up to you. But now it's the money time, guys, the money time. So yes guys, the money time is now. Unboxing the Nissan GTR R35 2022. And here, what we have inside, it's a lot of part. Remember, this is one of the part that we need to cut over there. And I will show you how to make it and put the 2022 20, the version. It's uh, supposed to sit perfectly. We will see how it's handled. You can see the different. Over there we have some area of venting. And uh, I think more or less uh, this is a little bit different over there from here. This is the new version of the GTR. Yes. So this is the first part. Okay. The, the bumper over there. We need to send it a little bit and see 
if it's cool and good. I will leave the wheel for the end because it's not part of the kit. This is the uh, wheel, the, the wheels that come from the kit with aluminium. I can show you what comes with the kit because this is the unboxing. After that, we will do what we want. Okay. This is the wheel for the, uh, the kit. It's supposed to sit like that. And it's very cool and nice. You need to cut this uh, small area and after that connect it. And this is how the wheel will look. Okay, we have uh, uh, again two narrow and uh, two wide. As you can see, this is the different. Okay. I think it's very nice wheel, but uh, on the real car in Israel, this is not the wheel that they have to the scar. So what I do, what I do, it's a print. The KPS wheels. This is the rims that we will use on this car. By the way, I print it uh, in my uh, printer, and uh, it's look fantastic. Look. Awesome. Yes, I know, I know. So, this is what we will do, guys. And I will show you. I need to change a little bit the body cap over there because it's in Tamiya it's a male, and here it's a female. So I need to send it and glue some male pin, and it will be fit perfectly to the disc brakes and the model. Let's continue with the uh, trans kit. But before it, this, the last part for the wheel is air valve. I don't know if you can see it inside. We have a four air valve that we need to drill a small hole with some some driller 0.5. Drill a hole in the wheel, and after that, put the air valve. I think it uh, give a lot to the model, and we definitely do it. Okay, let's continue. This is the front. This is the front uh, bumper of this amazing car. It's supposed to sit. Let's remove it, and we'll see. It's supposed to sit like that over there, and it's what I love in Obi design. It's everything fit perfectly. Uh, let me tell you a big tip, guys. Uh, this car is going to be in a parallel white. Okay, so. When you uh, do parallel white, you need first of all paint everything in white, okay? So look at the difference between the color. This is a resin, this is a plastic, and uh, you need to verify that the parallel white, it will be same on the bumper, okay? And I will show you how to make it. Don't worry about it. If you will really use the this bumper so it's more easy because it's the same color so if you will paint in white and after that in parallel white it will be same and easily this one will be a little bit different because it's a little bit brighter okay so keep attention for that start with gray everything after that white and after that parallel white this is my tricks and i think it's worked perfectly uh, i will uh, show you what i'm doing don't worry about it okay so look how much amazing the front bumper guys the front bumper look fantastic i love it so much it's uh, really really nice i know i not need to send it or something like that just glue it and paint okay let's continue what we have here yes they give us uh, the new version of the hood i don't know what is uh, the different uh, but yes definitely it looks different from the other one with more shapes over there as you can see this is the difference it's supposed to sit over there look hobby design i not send nothing i not do nothing it's fit perfectly and it's amazing guys this is why i love so much the hobby design they give attention to this uh, the, to the part and uh, they do great work this is why i love to use it and this is definitely the hood we will use what we have here, it's the new version of the dashboard, as I see, yes, yes, Woo so much power, let's invest it. Okay, here we need to cut the streak, the, uh, the skirts, and put the 
new version one I will show you how to make it don't worry about it it will be super awesome believe me we have two of them we need to see with the drawing which one is go where but we will do it and we will uh, make it right and cool this is the center console for uh, this area as you can see you just need to cut it and glue it on it okay if I am uh, if I'm right yes this is supposed to sit like that and it will be more nice I think it's uh, more details uh, what we have here is the buckles for the seat belts. They give us a buckles and uh, they made it uh, very nice and molding with uh, the click and everything. And uh, definitely we will use it. Here is the dashboard. Okay, as you can see, the dashboard is left. Sorry, the dashboard it is in on uh, the left side. Uh, so it means that uh, in Israel we drive on the left side of the road so it's supposed to sit like that and it's fantastic this is the new with the multimedia and uh, I think they uh, make fantastic work with it this is the radiator that come you're not supposed to use the older one use the uh, this one and it will be awesome Yes, it's come with two parts so you can uh, paint and uh, play with the color and I think it's nice. Each time that separate parts it's more easy for us to paint different uh, color and I think it's nice. Yes, let's continue. This trans kit, amazing, amazing. I think here we have the lamps. Yes, the lamps, the LED lights. Okay, let's start from the LED. Okay, in the uh, version of uh, the new version of the GTR, this is the uh, shape of the headlights, so they give us uh, clear parts that we will use, put inside and make it more look nice and real. I will show you the, uh, the older, uh, the older uh, version, it's come like that with the two and this is come like that and I think it's more nice and real you can paint it and play with it and do crazy things with it and you will love it okay so we have the left and right what we have here it's I think a exhaust pipe or something like that yes this is the exhaust tip they look more nice with angle if you can see it's a little bit with angle it's give, give us a aggressive look to the car this is the uh, air condition for the dashboard as you can see over there you can use it for the air condition it will be awesome and uh, look very nice okay you can paint it beside and uh, separately and it's awesome yes this is the exhaust pipe I think this is a part of uh, the exhaust pipe we will see and in, uh, invested this is the armrest it's supposed to sit over there, the armrest, small part, easily painted and use it. I don't know what is it. I think it's the part of the exhaust, yes, because I see it over there. This is the part for the exhaust that uh, create uh, the additional uh, connection between the old one and the first one. I don't know what this part is look like a venting or something like that we will see this is definitely the venting for the hood it's a little bit smaller one and it's supposed to sit over there below as you can see okay it's awesome guys awesome to take a maybe 10 years kit from Tamiya very good one and bring the 2022 it's amazing the area of the shifter and the handbrakes over there and we invest already the clear parts we will see how to handle with it yes it's not finished until it's finished so wow what we have here decals wow amazing they give us a lot of decals and cool stuff inside. Uh, the new dashboard with the, all the indicators, the uh, logos, some area of uh, carbon fiber look. 
GTR, the screen, some bolts. It's amazing. What we have here? Let's see. It's a. I think it's a decal for. Opa. Yes, it's a decal for the uh, T spec. If I see right, I think it's for the seat belts. We will see in the drawing where it's supposed to be. We have a five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six uh, metal uh, parts. This breaks with all the mesh that uh, Tamiya wants us to use the mesh. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I paint it black and uh, put it. We will see. This is kit going to be very nice uh, and a wonderful project to end this year. Uh, I will try to show you many things on this uh, uh, on this project here we have the logo of uh, GTR some uh, handles some uh, I don't know some small parts that I need to see uh, myself where it's going to be here is for the speakers and some clamps the speakers and clamps nice um, usually they all the time send the, the seat belts you need to paint it in a, a black if you can see they have a texture on them but it's more easy to take some uh, a cloth and use a real cloth it's more easy I think before if you paint sometimes the paints remove and you need to paint again it's a, a really mess and uh, catch your headache okay I don't know what is it. I think it's uh, something that we need to build. I will see in the drawing. Maybe it's important, maybe it's not. Also over there, I think this is uh, the uh, lead on the uh, headlight. You need to uh, cut it and uh, use it for the headlight and we will uh, do it. I think it's awesome, first time that I see it, so I'm excited. And yes, Nissan GTR, guys, 2022. How to do it, how to cut, how to send, everything here. This is how to suppose the new Nissan GTR look like with all the, uh, how to create the seat beds, how to create the, yes, so these parts it's a, a, the area of the diffuser over there. Okay, we will try to make it together. Also over there, some area that they need to grill and put lighters. And we speak about the LED on the headlights. So here is it. Wow, amazing. It looks super cool and nice. Let's see over there, yes. This is all the part. Verify that you have all the part before you start the project because sometimes they make, make a mistake and you can contact with them and uh, tell them that you're missing some parts. They will send it, don't worry. This is how to make all the mesh in the front bumper, the area of the exhaust with the radiators, okay, the interior, some kind of speakers that uh, you will need to use and uh, work on them, the dashboard, and also over there, also the uh, photo edge part, guys. Wow, what a big project, what a big project. Maybe 10 parts, maybe more, wait and see. Uh, yes, amazing, I love it so much. People, this is the unboxing for this amazing Nissan GTR that we will be in and uh, end this year with this uh, project. I hope that you like it. I will try to give my tips and uh, do it in the best way that I can. Um, if you have any question about it, if I don't show something, let me know. I will uh, do it on the next uh, part. As you know me, on the next part we will do the uh, preparation of the body. It's very important to show you how I cut some area and then glue the original uh, the the, the new version of the GTR and play with it and uh, verify that everything will be good. So, they uh, send me this kit and I really like it. I will try to do my best that uh, you will understand what I'm doing. 
And again, if you have any question, uh, I'm here to help you all the time. That's it, the unboxing finish. And uh, I think that you need to go to my club to see the unboxing for the Euros. It's a full erasing kit and it's an amazing kit that uh, I will build on the club. So keep attention for that and uh, see you soon, guys. Bye bye, Rosso Model Channel.